but nevertheless, uh, you know, certainly albeit a very, very brief history of the POA, perhaps the most entertaining brief history, uh, if I have anything to do with it. So the short version here, and I will tell you that I have uh, copied and pasted this right from the POA itself, the interpretation section, or the purpose of the act, which certainly speaks how this act came to be. And again, conveniently enough, found right at the beginning of the POA. So uh, I'll just perhaps read the bolded and underlined uh, sentiment here. So it, it quite simply states, the purpose of this act is to replace the summary conviction procedure for the prosecution of provincial offenses. Now, again, I know we're coming from uh, varying backgrounds here, but I'm going to stop right there because this is talking about replacing summary conviction procedure uh, for what we now you know, refer to as provincial offenses, if you will. So for those of you not familiar with the term summary conviction, uh, you know, again, for lack of better description, this is a literally a minor criminal offense. So it'd be something on the lower end of the scale dealt with criminally as a criminal offense under the actual criminal code. So this is certainly alluding uh, to the idea that prior to the POA, we were dealing with what we now perceived as, you know, provincial or regulatory matters, very, you know, minor, low end of the scale to that sentiment, as if they were minor criminal offenses, sending them to the criminal courts. Now, uh, to really make the distinction here, you know, what was happening prior to the POA, we had what was called the Summary Convictions Act, which again spoke to this idea of dealing with these regulatory offenses as if they were minor criminal infractions. So I've only taken just a tiny a portion of the Summary Convictions Act here. And again, this was a small act. I believe it was 23 sections, not parts, but sections. And uh, certainly here, and I'll just uh, quickly switch on my laser pointer because again, we spare no expense here. Uh, <laughs> you can see here, it talks about the idea of a traffic ticket, but certainly it's not just a ticket as we know it as. Uh, it talks about a traffic ticket in four parts. There's uh, a, a document called an information, which we'll talk about, a report of conviction, a police record, and a summons. So we're actually not issuing a ticket at all, we're compelling someone to have to come to court and deal with this. So although it was called a ticket, that certainly wasn't the case at all.